Alright, this is Logan Matthew here for day 22 of our Star Wars Galaxy Imperial playthrough doing the Galactic War. So, um, we restarted, we've been getting some luck with some full clears, so we're doing pretty well. Well, looks like our first group here. Something that you, I should probably go over a little bit more for analyzing, because I typically go pretty quickly through these just for time's sake. Um, to really help out, what you can do is take a look at your opening screen. And so, by looking at their level, you can see their star, and you can also see their gear. And their gear, you have to kind of look at the uh, um, um, border here. If it's green, they're kind of in that uh, from 2 to 3 range. If, if it's uh, blue, it's going to be like 4 to 6, and then if it's purple, it's going to be 7 to 9. Um, gear is going to mean a lot more than um, stars lots of times. It kind of depends on the characters. Um, for instance, you see a TIE pilot, um, they could be one star, they're still going to hurt a lot, um, especially if, if if they have gear. But you want to kind of look at like who's going to be their weaker targets. They're, they have two taunters, so I'm going to have to kill those guys, those guys first. This this squad here is basically all even. They're all same gear, same star, same um, level. So I'm not really going to affect who I'm going to target, but if, if they have one, they have a little glass candy person, um, you definitely want to go for them, and you can't, it can kind of help you to make those choices before you go in there. So, um, for this squad, um, this Hoth Soldier, they have three talents, to be honest here, but they only have one heal. So it's not going to be a hard fight. It's going to be a slow fight, because we're not going to be able to focus who we want to focus. Oh, I, I forgot to uh, reassign my, my, my team. Oh well. For this fight, 86 is going to be just fine. Um, we're going to try and focus their Jawa down first. I'm actually going to do an AoE, just because... I want to do as much damage to, to their entire team as possible, and then I'm going to try and take out their Talia. She's, that's really all of their damage is, is gone. Uh, if I can take out their Huff Soldier. Um, go. Take out Chewie. And the first few battles, it doesn't really matter, so I typically just kind of blow through those. But later on, and it's getting a little bit more kind of sketchy, and if you have enough kind of backup characters that maybe you can trade out some some people because of compositions you might want to try looking at their composition first a little bit more than I typically, than you typically see me doing. Alright, so now when we go in um, got two taunters, that's nothing um, damage and kind of a half heal. So probably going to go in here, we're going to take out 80, 86 um, I'll move my Luke up a little bit more and then we'll put in Atalia. Alright so this comp composition, again, they got the, that double heal team, or, or do, sorry, double taunt team. Um, he's going to come up pretty quickly here. I might be able to get down their cha cha their Talia or their Jama really quickly. I'm just going to go go for Poe, though. Um, he's probably going to taunt, like, right there. I saw that his turn meter was going to come up either first or right really close to one of my other players, and I probably couldn't, wouldn't be able to uh, finish them up, so... I made that, that choice and decided to try and burn him down sooner than later. Because his time is long enough that you're not going to be able to switch off of him back onto your main target before his taunt's off. And then they got the Chewy. He's kind of squishy. I might be able to get him down. But probably not low enough that I'm going to finish him before his taunt's off. And then there's a heal. Alright, so with that heal, I'm definitely not going to going to go for him. Um, I'm Gonna go for their Talia. My Talia is a little bit low right now. It's because she took a bit of beating there. So we'll try and heal her as soon as we can. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and use our Luminara heal. And then get back on their Talia. Then we're gonna get on their Jawa. I guess you can go for their Chewie over the, Ro the Royal Guard. The Royal Guard does very, very little damage even when he's geared. Um, he's kind of tanky and he's. Not very good. If he could taunt, he'd actually be half decent, but um, he can't. He just gives resistance and then has a lot of help and does no damage. So you just kind of leave leave him there alone. The resistance that he puts up is annoying, but it's not going to break anything for you. And then finally, we'll finish off with, with him, and we'll use our auto just to get our cooldowns back up. There we go. All right. Get our first hundred crystals there, go on to the next battle. 
and I'm not looking a lot, even though I probably, I probably should. Once we get towards the, the later ones, I'll analyze a little bit more here. Uh, we're going to go for the Jedi. It's typically our first target for these pretty basic groups. Uh, we'll t try and take out that Ewok. Typically pretty weak. And if they're geared, they can do a bit of damage. So, but Again, we're going to left level up. We're not going to be taking a lot of damage from most people. Or we're fighting people who are low, in a low enough level that we're not going to be taking much damage just because of the first half of the galaxy, the Galactic Wars. They're going to put you against uh, some people that are quite a bit weaker than you, so you should have a pretty easy time on it. Usually you'll get some group that's just accomplished and that's pretty darn um, strong, so you'll get paired with, with them. and it, it takes a little bit more thought, but for the most part, you can just kind of mindlessly blow through it. A little bit of a heal here is just, to, just to top off where you know their Java. I did not effectively go off their uh, main targets. So their Java should typically not be the last target, but again, I'm not really thinking all that much for these first few. You know, I probably should. It's good practice to be in that habit just so that it's second nature when you get to the harder ones. Alright, um, one taunt. Five is a little bit annoying. Um, he has a counter. He's tanky, but he doesn't taunt, so we'll just ignore him for the time being. And try and take out their Jedi first. Alright, then we'll go for the Jawa. There's a taunt, there's a taunt, alright. So we'll go on the taunt. Should have a weed there. And force of habit. Maybe get him down. Yeah, you know. Alright, we took him out. Then on the Jawa. I'm not going to AoE now just because there's only three of them. There's no tank to worry about. Alright, then we'll go for Talia. Probably use a Jedi heal if it's up. Just to top off. I'll use my Talia heal. I will use my Jedi heal. There we go. A little bit higher before we go on to the next battle. Luminar is a little bit low, but she has she's enough health. Overall, it's not going to be a big deal. Alright, and then on the fives. Not sure if their fives has the counterattack yet. Yeah, she does. I don't think it's 100% on fives, but it is pretty high depending on how um, you level it. Again, he doesn't do a lot of damage, so the counterattack's not as bad as, say, someone like Dooku, who. Uh, can counterattack for quite a bit of damage and then get a post attack on that, that that counter and stun you. So it's just much nastier um, counterattack on that guy. Alright, moving along. 200. Once we get to this purple crate, we will be able to buy our first uh, shipment for the day. Or our first uh, pack of shards. So we got a taunter. It's uh, only one taunter. Cad Bane, you don't see him a lot, but he might be our second target. We got their Jedi. Burn down nice and fast. And we'll go for their Cad Bane. Or we go for their Chewy because of the taunt. Then we'll be going for the Cad Bane, though. Bit of damage here, don't need to heal yet. I use a Jedi heal if I get one. One more round. I'll wait, wait for that one. Uh, probably should just finish off their Chewy. He might do a self heal. I don't. I'm gonna finish him off just in, just in case he self heals. Then I'll get back on that cabin. All right, and then Ashaka. She's gonna die a lot faster. We'll go ahead and heal. Let's top off and get our cooldowns back up before next fight. And then we're going to get on their Stormtrooper. Lunar is definitely my carry for this team. Because she's doing so much damage and she's our big heals. That's why I'm a real big fan. And the more stars we get her by farming her shards every day. If we're getting 15A a day, which you can do if, uh, if you're clearing your Galactic War and logging in three times a day with that um, difference. Can get her to seven stars 
pretty fast. I'd say probably one of the fastest characters which you can do. It'd be the same for any character who's who you're getting from the um, uh, Galactic War shipments, but uh, she's probably one that you're you're going for her or Phasma or Poggle so, or ID 86 if you're going for the uh, Droid team, which is really fun. And I probably should have done it for this A account, but um, it's one that you kind of want to make a choice of if you're going to be, be going for that before you would do it. Um, it's really hard to get multiple different teams just to try not, unless you're going to be spending a lot of money and buying uh, um, shards and packs and stuff. So, I guess we're going to on the Chewbacca. I went ahead and took out their Sidious first. Um, he's going to heal block, and if my high heal team, that's a big um, detriment to us. So I'm getting a little bit low on everybody, which is kind of the way you would want. You want everyone to be taking about equal damage, so you can just use your little heals on someone like your, like your Jedi and not have to use your big heals from, uh, say, Talia. So out of their healers, they got Talia and um, their Jedi. Talia is probably the bigger threat. So we're going to try and heal block her, and then just burn her down. Our attack is so much stronger than my Jedi's. And then we'll go ahead and take out Talia. Get the heal block on, on her. So even if the Jedi does heal, it doesn't do anything. And if she tries to heal, it just hurts her. It doesn't and doesn't help them. So and she, and she typically does a little bit more damage than the Jedi will, if they're equally geared and leveled as how I typically so that's what I mean when, when I comparing these characters. If they're equal gear and a level, that's kind of the priority. But again, if you look at the uh, pre-screen there, and you can see, hey, they have one person who's really, really geared. Um, when they're kind of a attackers, you probably want to burn down them first, just to keep them from doing all that damage to you. All right, so there's our first 400. So we can go to our shipments. You want to do that now? Fire the our shards. Great. Uh, moving along. On the latter half now, um, who do we got? We got double top. Their pose is going to be up. I might get two in before their pose. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get their Jedi because I can take out the Jedi with the Sidious and Lunar. Their pose did not taunt, so we lucked out there. And then we're going to need to do one more attack on their Jedi. Um, probably going to get a taunt from Chewbacca. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and put a dot on their Talia. Yeah. So if he taunts, then I can do a little bit of damage to her while I'm killing Chewbacca. And if she doesn't, then I can just get on her and try and burn her down. There's that Poe taunt. We're going to go ahead and stick on Chewbacca. Um, he seems pretty squishy. And then that self heal that might pull us off him. And the fact that uh, they just lost his taunt. So, All right. So on to Poe, I probably should have changed to Poe, I was being stupid, so that's a poor choice, learn from my, from my mistakes. I can use my healing up. Hi, Sadie. Poe's taunts long enough that you're typically going to burn down once he taunts. Uh, but we got, got, got on him late, so we're going to leave him as is. You take out their Talia, he's not going to be getting any more health back, so... AoE... Try to bring down Talia... Alright... And now we're going to take out Poe. He's low enough, he's going to die faster than anyone else. Taking out their characters is definitely the way to go. That's why AoE teams really don't do all that well, because if they can resist through it, um, but you're putting out a lot more damage. The more characters that you can take out the, as fast as possible, the less their overall damage out, output per round is. So uh, I'm gonna Lunar heal to speed, nice and topped off, and get our cooldowns back up by attacking this fairly tanky guy. This is kind of where I don't like to crit. I just want to do some basic attacks and uh, get my cooldowns up. Um, as much people as possible, but again, you can't choose to, to not crit. Alright. Now 
the fresh shards. All right, so this one, all right, so here, here's a fine example. So the people are not the same levels. This person is level 57. Um, three other characters are 57 or 56. They're typically going, going to be about around that same level. Um, so they're much, much higher level than we are. Um, this, we are 49. So they're way outleveling us here. So it's going to be a pretty difficult fight for us. But they have two people that are pretty darn low. Well, this can be a big problem. Their Jedi is going to be really nasty. He has only two star though, and he is pretty well geared. So I definitely want to take him out as fast as possible. Um, Chewbacca, even though he's geared and starred, he's not going to be doing a lot of damage. Phasma can really hurt though. So you can kind of see our our main threats. These guys are not going to be as big of a threat. They're in lower level and lower star compared to these guys here. So we're going to go in. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because this is what, what happens with how it um, pairs things off. You can get paired off against some people that are much, much higher level than you just because two of their characters are low. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go for their Jedi. Oh, that's a lot of help on a, on, on a Jedi. Okay. So we'll try and stun him. A lucky stun. Um, I'm not going to tell you heal. There's a taunt. I'm going to need to heal myself heal here. I'd like to AoE before their Jedi heals himself. So I can't get back on their Jedi now. So I really want to do, do that. The big thing is that's their only heal. Um, Chewbacca is not going to have a taunt up for a, a while. I can kill these, these two a lot faster than I can kill Phasma, even though Phasma has a lot more uh, has a lot more damage. I'm going to try and take out these two guys first. Um, Clone Sergeant has an AoE. Resistance Trooper can put um, the debuff on me. That makes me take more damage, the exposed debuff, so I'm going to try and go, go for him. But let's say yes, I'm going to AoE. I don't need to worry about getting his um, uh, basic attack debuff up because uh, they have no more, no more heals except for Chewbacca's self heal, which I really don't care about until I'm trying to focus down him. So I'll try and take out Resistance Trooper. Probably going to want to heal here. Oh yeah, I really want to heal, but I can't heal with Talia. She can self heal a little bit. Luminar heal, that's what we want. Alright, that feels better. Much better. Now I'm going to take out their Clone Sergeant. You can see that was a good time where we wanted to look at their uh, team comp prior to going in, because otherwise I would have gone here and probably gone for a little bit of a different strategy and not realize how those three would be a much, much more dangerous, more tanky team for us to be facing. Um, if I go for a Phasma, their Chewbacca's taunt's going to be back up soon. I'm going to go ahead and go for Chewbacca. Um, if it was a little bit more balanced and I could kill Phasma a little bit faster because she wasn't as high of a level, I would definitely be going for her. But I know how long it's going to take me, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for Chewbacca. Ability block him. I mean, I will kill him before he's taunts. Which, oh. That was stupid. Oh, that was stupid. I was not paying attention to you guys. Do a lot more damage, right? Alright, let's try that again. Let's go in here. See what we can do. Um... Go for the Jedi again. Really block him. There's too much damage as I possibly can. Can I look it done again? Yes, I can. It typically does the exact same thing as it did the previous time. So we'll down there, Chewbacca. We'll go ahead and heal for Jedi. Chewbacca should be up again soon, which makes us top down, which means we can go back on their Jedi. And hopefully. Take out their Jedi right here. Alright, now the AoE. So they have all this uh, advantage, which really kind of sucks here. I'm going to take off Phasma's advantage. Or try to. Hey, hey. Sorry. Take off Phasma's advantage by hitting her again. Um, and then I'm probably going to go for um, the Clone Sergeant. He's I use target to kill right now. Oh, I should have healed. I should have healed there. 
Oh, I, may not, I might not have had heal, so... Oof, I'm gonna tell you, again, do tally, tally heal just to make my damage not as dangerously low. And then I'll go ahead and Luminar heal. Alright, we're topped off. There's that expose that I really hate. It's a uh, percentage health damage. Alright, we're gonna get on Phasma. She is really hurting. It looks a little bit low, I want to get a heal off on him. Ability block. No, he's done. Got lucky he's done. Now we're going to heal. It's a taunt. It's not what, what we want. That's what, what we were afraid of the last time. We get Phasma down low, and then we're going to be taunted, so we can't finish her off. I'm not going to use my AoE, just because I want to have it up for early next round if I need it. Can I get a last minute heal? No? Okay. So that was a nasty round. That's the kind of whole thing about it being kind of random who it targets you. I really think that's a kind of bad system for how they choose those targets. Because, like I, th I think I said it in a separate video, I have gotten paired up against, um, like I was level like 52, and I got paired against um, 4 level 60s with purple gear, and then one, like, level 30. And it's like, I couldn't do anything. Um, it just didn't matter how well I, I, I played or anything, it just, there was no chance. Burned through, like, two full sets of my max level guys who have pretty darn good gear, and I just couldn't do a darn thing, so. Anywho, here's kind of more what you're typically going, going to see around your level, and all the characters there about being the same. So they got two heal, one taunt. The cross can be a little bit, bit nasty. So we'll go ahead and head on in. See what we can do. All right. So probably gonna go for Luminara over the Jedi. They look about the same health, so we could probably take her out sooner. Or she's kind of a bigger threat. He did not heal great. You can burn her down. Oh, that taunt. I did not get the healing debuff on her, so she might heal herself up if I don't get a good AoE from my Sidious. Hopefully kill her. No. Dang. Alright, I need a heal. Luminara heal. And they're probably going to use their own. Great. The so Jedi didn't, though. Which is nice. You know, I, now I really want to finish her off. I'm not going to use my, my Jedi's heal. Alright, there's Luminara. Now we're gonna go for their Jedi. Don't need to worry about the taunt. Not worry about much of their damage, so I am just, just gonna go for uh, their Jedi. Otherwise, you might want to take out a big damage threat, but a shock is not the biggest damage threat. She's probably their, their best damage dealer, but she's not gonna wreck you too fast. Alright, and then I'll probably get on Savage. I can go ahead and heal now. Let's top off. If I can have it up again on my cooldown. And we're gonna do a bunch of autos because I'm probably not gonna take much more damage from these two. They have a lot of health, but they get not a lot of damage. Resistance kinda sucks, but and then I go of course the taunt. Uh, they're not going to be healing up. Um, like, you know, debuff here, I don't need to worry about his self heal, so I'll definitely go there, and we're just going to kill him. Alright, and then get on to Savage. Well, I should have got on Chewbacca first, because he seemed a lot easier to kill than Savage, but it's not always the case, it kind of depends on the uh, ability levels and stuff. So. Alright, here we go. On to our final three. Just looking at their pre standard team. Level 53, but they're left lower on their characters. So but we do have a lot of stars here. Um, we got five star, five star, four star, four star, three star. Um, only one healer though, but they do have a Sidious. So see if I might want to take out their Sidious first before going on to, Lu to Luminara, because again, our team we do not like getting a that debuff from Sidious. So I'm gonna try and burn him down. 
And that get lucky with my crits. I get a lucky crit here, and it's done. I did. And he is heal blocked. Ooh, I am looking not good though. I'll try and take others, I guess. And then can't heal because of the ability block, which is this bad RNG. I'm gonna go for the Luminara next though. It's gonna go AoE with Sidious. Alright, thank you for not targeting and thank you for targeting someone who is not my my, my Jedi. Now I'm gonna take out their Luminara. I'm gonna save my heal because I probably shouldn't need it. Of course they dodge. Take out Luminara. Alright. Def Chad just um, hid and Jock is taunted, which is a kind of a waste there, but that's the RNG of the autoplay from the computer side. Now I'm going to go ahead and heal and top off. Just to get my cooldowns up sooner. That'd be a good crit here, might just stay on him. Yeah, I'll just stay on Chewbacca, because he's basically dead here. And then I'll get on Talia. Deftcha, kind of a toss up between which 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 one I would kill, but uh, I already had some damage on her, a little bit more than the Deftcha, so I theoretically could kill her a little bit, bit faster, and the Deftcha can always do that little hide thing, which would force me to get off. It's kind of like the anti taunt. But when they're the, they're the only one left, it does absolutely nothing, so there we go. Victory. Do you want to go here? Up, there's our 200 more shards. So there's our second set that that we can buy, and that's the kind of minimum you want to be able to, to get to each each time. And then, and then, so now we're up against someone who's a low, a lower level than that last fight, and uh, overall lower characters. So there's ADSC. Here's that kind of thing that I was talking about. He's a green he's a green level gear, and all of their players are pretty low gear level. Um, if if you look at ours, most of ours are 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 running. Um, I can't see him here, but the ones that were running on our main stuff, like my Sidious, he's kind of on this the second level blue um, stuff like that. So we out outgear them. I did see that their Sidious is lower gear, which means, he's, which means he's going to be much weaker, which means he's a very easy target for me to pick off. So definitely going to do that. And there you go, you can see it much easier to kill than that last Sidious was, because that last Sidious was a lot better geared. And then all of their players are, are, are going to be much lower gear, so we're just going to try and burn through them. I'll take out their uh, Jedi here. I'm going to save Boba Fett for last because it is really a annoying respawn. Yes, yes, yesterday during an arena, I was fighting one. He respawned five times in a row. Just he came back up and I just one shot him again, and he came back up and I one shot him, and just. It's annoying, but uh, if, when they have a taunter, it can really kind of screw you up, because you can just kill him, he'll res, then they'll, they'll taunt, and then he's still doing all that same damage as he would be if he was full health, so. Real annoying. Um, if he's on your team, it can really kind of save you too, because it can give you that one little bit more damage that you need just to burn someone down after he gets targeted down. Anywho, back to our this game. We're gonna go ahead and heal there. Get topped off. Go in for Talia. Alright, yeah, they're both that's not doing much damage to us. Both that is he's an attacker, he's classified as a tank, so he's not doing so he doesn't do like the best damage. He has a pretty good aim and anyway, though. Um, the big thing is his second A ability is a uh, and AoE that can a, a ability block your entire team. So that's a pretty big thing. And there's his first res, so you see how many we get here. Just one res. Alright, good. Jesse would be nice if he kept resing because this would give us our cooldowns back up, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that one. New last group, again, this would be much easier than that other one. Um, I could probably do, do this one just going into it. It does not look too tough. But again, the, the strategy that I recommend, if you have a, a hard time or you just want to be extra safe going into that last battle, you can go in, take out your first string, pull in your second string, try and burn down one person, try and use up their cooldowns as your suicide squad, and then go in there with your 
main squad to finish off, but we should be able just to do it with our main squad here. So we're going to try that. Um, so, Chibo is a uh, he's classified as a tank. He doesn't do a lot. He can uh, take off your debuffs. I mean, your buffs. That's kind of one of his things. So, he's good on your team if you need to get rid of a taunt, but that's a really situational thing, or you want to get get rid of one of their really strong buffs. But he's really not going to be that big of a threat. Um, their only healer is Talia, um, and if I focus her, she can heal. Everyone else, but not her, so, so she'll just hurt herself. So I'm actually going to go for Talia first. Because she's probably going to help me out by uh, healing. If not, it's just one less damage to worry about. There it goes. So I'm not going to get on her anymore because I just got that, that taunt. But uh, once my Savage. Uh, sorry, once my. Sidious is up, then I will uh, AoE and finish her off. And AoE will also get through the uh, hide. What? She lived? Okay. Guess I'm not going to get on her quite yet. She'll be very, very low once I do get to her. That is the only a AoE that I have. So Now we're going to kill her. And then we're going to kill... Chewbacca. I probably should have healed a while ago, but again, it's the last round. All I need to do is win, not win efficiently. Alright, so now we'll kill Chewbacca, and we'll kill Luke. He's their damage threat. And then probably go for Savage. Actually, he has that resistance. I'm going to wait until that resistance is gone before I get on him. I can do more efficient damage on the Tibu. And then we'll just auto so I get through it faster. There we go. So pretty easy there. Had that one little bit of trouble there with that kind of awkwardly balanced team that was much higher than us for three of, of the five. Which again can happen. That was not our fault, but we were able to get through it just by thinking about it and trying some different different strategies. Alright, so there we go, got our extra four hundred. 10 crystals, got our free shard, and a uh, rest of our mats. So there's our Galactic War. Uh, I should have time to get more shipments, get two more Luminaras. Which will put us a lot closer to getting her leveled up. Uh, we're pretty darn close for 21 anyway. We can probably get that extra one just from a um, hard battle. So now we get her up to. Um, five star, which is a really nice place to get her. Hey, looks like we can upgrade her. Let's make her do five percent more damage. Do her already sick damage she's doing. So, great. With that, this has been Dogmath. Um, this has been day 22 of our Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes playthrough during the Galactic War. I will see you guys tomorrow for more.